Hey Magpies, Magpie Leon here. In today's video, uh, we're starting a new series. It's going to be a series where I sort of go over each Halo game and talk about things that I love about each one of them. Yes, including Halo 5 because there is things that I love about that game. But that's, that's in the future. I'm sure I'll get to it eventually. But today, obviously, we're starting with Combat Evolved and I will briefly touch on Combat Evolved Anniversary. And I'll just, it's just here to talk about sort of my memories and reasons I love each game in the series. Granted, obviously, some of my opinions on the games are going to be different to yours, which is fair enough. If that's the case, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. But without further ado, let's jump straight in. Man, Halo Combat Evolved, the one that started it all. Obviously, this video isn't going to be like sort of a, an in-depth look at how the game was developed or whatever, but rather just why I like the game, things that I enjoyed about it. See, my parents play Halo. They did a lot more, but they, they still do. So it was kind of inevitable that I'd grow up loving this series. Combat Evolved isn't particularly the first game that I'd fully experienced myself. Rather, Halo 2 was the one that I grew up playing the most. But I still played Combat Evolved and I still have fond memories of the game and there's still a lot about it that I, I do enjoy. I'm unaware if I've ever actually completed it. I know I'm yet to complete it on Master Chief Collection. That's just because the game overall, in terms of its campaign, uh, I'm not as fond of its story as I am the later entries. I don't think it's bad by any means. I just, I'd rather play like Halo 2, Halo 3, in some cases even Halo 4. I just find the gameplay overall feels a bit quicker most of the time at least in the campaign. Multiplayer is a bit of a different story, but we'll get to that later on. But from what I have played of Combat Evolved's campaign, you know, I do really enjoy it. I, like, it's quite breathtaking when you first step foot onto the ring and look up at this giant skybox. Like, you feel like you're in space, and I think that's really cool, and that's a very precious memory that any Halo player has. I, I think that the enemies in the game are really fun to fight most of the time. Like, they have some of the best AI in the series in terms of how they control, and I think that's great. Obviously, it introduces some of the memorable characters, but it doesn't feel as story-centric as most of the later games, or at least the earlier missions don't. Some of the later missions, that's a different case. But I guess maybe for me, I just found it was a bit slow to get going, so I struggled to get to the later levels. Not because I'm bad at the game, although I am, but rather I just get really bored really quickly and I find some of the levels do feel like they drag on. I, I do love playing the game, I do find it really enjoyable. I mean, the final level is extremely iconic and something that I have played countless times just for that Warthog run because I think it's really fun. Like, it is the game that started all and I have a lot of respect for that. <laughs> it's music, it has an amazing soundtrack. I mean, of course it does, it's a Halo game. <laughs> Like, Martin O'Donnell and it, like, it really knocked it out of the park, let's not lie. It introduced some of the most iconic features of the series. As you'd imagine, it is the first entry. Everything else is just going to build on top of it. And I guess maybe because I don't have as much nostalgia for it, I do sort of look at it a bit more critically than some people would. Like, because I grew up more so playing Halo 2 and 3, Halo 1 just does feel a bit slower at times and a bit less enjoyable, but that's because it feels like it's missing a lot of the features that the two later games have, the ones that I grew up playing as a child. Don't worry, I'm not going to be super biased uh, towards Halo 2 and 3 and then be really mean to 4 and 5 I, or and Region, ODST. I, I, love, I love all the games, but that's not important. We're talking about Combat Evolved. I'll get into them at a later date. Combat Evolved is a great game. And obviously, I've, I've spoke about its campaign quite a bit. I could go on longer. I mean, yeah, there's some great stuff in its campaign. The scenery, the worlds that you explore, like, well, the ring that you explore. Some of the environments are just really cool. <laughs> like, I, I love just driving around in this sort of big open area on a warthog, driving up alongside a river and stuff. I think it's really cool. But there's only so much I can say about Combat Evolve's campaign because I barely remember most of it. And recording the footage for this video, I had a, a really bad time. It was very stressful. So let's go on to its multiplayer. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with Combat Evolves multiplayer. 
Sometimes I love how hectic it is, and other times I hate how hectic it is. Sometimes I love its weapons, and others I hate them. I only tend to hate them when they're in someone else's hands though. Yeah, Combat Evolves multiplayer is great, and obviously, once again, it's the one that started it all, so I have a lot of respect for it in that regard. Obviously, I know that the version that's on Master Chief Collection isn't actually the same version that was on the original version of Combat Evolved, but I never really experienced the original version of Combat Evolved because, once again, I was quite a little sprout. Um, by that, I mean I was technically not even born, so take that as you will. I still really enjoy playing it nowadays, and quite frankly, I'd much prefer to play Combat Evolved multiplayer than I would over something like Halo Reach. I find it can be a lot more of an enjoyable experience, depending on which map you go on. Some of the maps aren't great, but some of them are amazing, and I really hope some of them come back in Infinite, like Blood Gulch, of course, is a big one for me, and like Rat Race, etc. It's It's got some great map design. It also had some bad map design, but it has some amazing... Like, boarding action is a great level and is extremely fun to play on, and it's never ever on in an online match which is greatly upsetting because it's an amazing map. Combat Evolved does so much right. Yes it has its issues but regarding the time that the game would have come out originally you know it's got a lot there and with Master Chief Collection now it's got even more. I find it insane seeing weapon skins on Combat Evolved. I think it's so cool having like a golden magnum in this woodland skin on my assault rifle or the Covenant colored shotgun it's really cool and like having visor colors and stuff like it's insane it's adding new experiences to combat evolved and i think that's great i, I love it so much and i do find combat evolved multiplayer to be really fun majority of the time yes sometimes i have a bad day where i don't play as well or where the enemy team either plays much better than me or plays like absolute scumbags either way it ends up putting me in a really bad mood which is probably why i've held off recording this video for so long because i didn't want to just sound angry the entire time i was talking about the game i do really enjoy it i i love its multiplayer it is one of the better ones in the series which is funny because you'd assume that every game that come after it would be better but that isn't particularly the case point is i have a lot about halo one that i enjoy now, let's just quickly talk about Combat Evolved Anniversary. There's not too much I can say that hasn't already been said. It's it's kind of bad. Its multiplayer was just Halo Reach, but a, a map pack. I kind of wish it had its own multiplayer experience. And its campaign... Yes, technically, it looks better visually, but it also looks worse. It kind of takes away a lot of the atmosphere that Combat Evolved had originally, which is greatly depressing. And although when I was younger, I tended to play Anniversary more because I'd be like... Well, this one doesn't look super old and gross, but now I have a lot more respect for the original version, so I tend to play the original version a bit more, but I will still switch to both now and again, kind of just depending what mood I'm in. It's It was a very disappointing remake, and yeah, I'd love to actually see it get a proper Halo 2 anniversary style reboot at some point in the future. Not reboot, remake. We don't want Halo being rebooted. A spiritual reboot is good enough. Combat of also one that started it all, and I have a lot of respect and I love the game with all of my heart. Well, I guess not all of it, because there's gotta be room for those other Halo games, hasn't the lads? So join me next time as I cover Halo 2 and Halo 2 anniversary, and why I love both those entries. Yeah, folks. That's all from me today. Do you agree? Do you agree with some of the reasons why I like Combat Evolved? Do you disagree with some of the stuff that I've said? Let me know down in the comments and I will catch you in the next. Hey folks, just before the video actually ends, I did want to sort of say, like while editing this, I realized I kind of rambled on a bit. It didn't quite cover everything I actually wanted to sort of express about my opinions with the game and such. So I am going to make sure that the Halo 2 episode and everything onwards does sound a lot more formal and that I express myself a lot better. I should probably actually script it rather than just writing bullet points. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy the video. Just comment down below what you think. And yes, I'll catch you in the next one.